Hi YouTube, this is our eighth video of how to program Zelio Logic. In this video, we will show how we will program the Zelio Logic for a two speed Dallander motor starter. We will use again SFC function blocks. Uh, the SFC is the power of the Zelio, it's that what uh, makes it uh, easy to program and powerful and we will go a step further to the simulation and we will or, or other program stop and uh, we'll see that we will have prob a problem with the FFCFC and we will see how to face up the, this problem so let's see our power circuit our power circuit is this the K1 contactor is for the low speed when the K1 contactor is closed the motor running at the low speed and when the K1 contactor is open and the K21 and the K22 contactor are closed the motor running at the high speed first the, we, for the automation we will use three buttons the low speed, the high speed and the stop button with the stop button stops the motor stops uh, running for the starting of the motor we will have to press the low speed if we press the high speed the motor won't start and after the low speed revolution per minute reached we will we, we will press if we want the high speed button and the motor will step up to the high speed and if for any reason we want to go back to the low speed we will push again the low speed button and the motor we will go back step down to the low speed and at the transitions from, from the low to the high speed we have to be careful for short circuits and we will use again time to at our time to implement our to, for implementing our steps let's program now with this algorithm we will use five inputs this is will be the low speed overload this will be the high speed overload This is the stop. This is the the high speed, and this is the low speed. Let's display our comments. Let's change this bit similar with the other. For output, this will be the K1 contactor, the low speed. This will be the K21 contactor, high speed. And this is will be the K22 contactor high speed. Let's display our comments. We will use FFC, the resettable initial step, and uh, logic, and add an, an AND. Here is the AND, the NAND. With this, we will, with this function block, we reset the SFC loop, and with 
this ant we will start the SFC loop press the low speed let's change and this to be more clear the main target always is the same the main goal a clear program a clear, a clear program means less mistake and less programming time and if we use well or if we keep well organized our program and our construction will be well organized everything will be everything will be Okay, so we will need step. The first step is the at the first step the motor has to reach the low speed, the upper low speed limit, and then we will need to press the high speed to have the transition for the high speed so we will need time once again And if this pressed, we will need to have the transition time. This will reset it by here. transition will be used time let's say that the motor needs 5 seconds to reach the low speed our limit and then we press the high speed and let's reset this we will need oops and after this we will have high speed And now we are now we have the transition to the high speed. Now we and the next is to have transition to the low speed. So if we want to have transition to the low speed, this step must be done again. let's say 20 for test purposes 20 it's almost 2 seconds 
and here we are 20 here we have 5 seconds, we are ok and this is our log speed with this we will create a loop for the transitions from high speed to low speed here we will need an OR function block And here we will, and now we will have again the transition to the high speed if needed. And thus we have now to choose our step at which step we have to, we want to go, and we want to go at this step. Now we will creating an SFC loop and let's simulate our program you will press high speed nothing happens you will press low speed the low speed is energized we have to wait 5 seconds Unless we press high speed and we go a step further Oops If we... Oh, no, we have the low speed still If we have the high speed high speed it's ok if we press again low speed we will go back to the low speed if we press again high speed we will go again to the high speed if we press low speed we will go again to the low speed high speed and we will get again the high speed this was our target but let's see what happens at the power failure what happens if a power failure happens here we simulate the power failure and here's again the motor have a stop the same will be at the stop mode if the where say I want the, the program to be stopped let's run this is our problem with the FFC now let's face up this what we will do is that we will use this status and an OR function block let's we will use the one minute to reset the and the call in it. With the one minute, we reset the loop at the program stops, and the, with the call in it, we reset the program, the SFC loop at the power failure. Let's simulate again. Run. Low speed. If we press high speed, 
high speed isn't in the side. Now we can go to the high speed. Everything is okay. You have a power failure. The output isn't energized. Let's start again. Let's go to the high speed. We stop the program. We run it. And again we are okay. That's all for now. Here's the internal SFC loop. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye bye.